Hey, you guys, it's Boy Deja Sky right now. So we're going to go into voiceover because my voice was wrecked at that time. Um, you're going to see me talk kind of here and there, but we're going to go into voiceover right now. Um, and then also the full disclaimer is my camera was on autofocus. So it like sharpens and then softens and then sharpens and then softens and then brightens and then darkens. So yeah, just deal with it. I love you. You guys know we are a trial and error channel. So let's get into the video. Hey you guys, it's me, Deja Sky from Paul's Recovery Season 14, and today I am bored. <laughs> like, literally bored. <laughs> so today is my day off from brunch, and it's a Saturday, so that's kind of weird. But um, normally I'd like just want to be in bed or just relax, but I had a really cool idea for an eye makeup that I was like, I have to try, and we are going to do that today. Hello, duh, that's why you are here. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this video. If you've already subscribed, I love you. If you haven't, I still love you, but subscribe, comment, like, don't dislike, that's rude. Anyways, let's get into this video that I have an idea about, and if it doesn't go over, you are here to share the journey of me fucking up. Okay, so we are going to prime. You know, I was talking to James Mansfield, and I was like, what kind of primer do you use? She's like, honestly, I don't prime. And because most of her stuff is literally in her house, not doing anything, I'm like, that's actually like kind of smart <laughs> because you're literally not going anywhere. So you're like, why am I gonna prime? I still don't feel a thousand percent when I don't prime. And especially this little annoying dent in my forehead. I haven't had a chance to get Botox. Okay, I haven't wanted to pay for Botox. Let's just say that. But I use like a blurring stick to just get rid of that little dent. Obviously, if you guys have watched my other tutorials, we are going to start with the eyes. And we are just gonna do a base for the eyes. And I say that every single time and then I end up doing too much. Uh, this is the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. With my foundations, I really do like to go to the extreme. I like to look tan. You know, like I like to look my summer color even in the winter. We are actually going to try to do a bald look. And we're just gonna start doing a little bit of the head and then we'll finish the rest later. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys would be down for me to do like voiceover style for sometimes for the makeup tutorials. Whenever I do no brow look, which is literally all I've been doing lately, I literally have left my brows in 2022 put like a light, my highlight cream, all in the center and on the eye because that's what we're gonna use as a base. I think I wanna do blacks with magentas and purples, but the main color I wanna do is black. Like that's the main color that I wanna utilize. So we're gonna use a Narvina. I don't think this is called the Galaxy Palette, but I call it the Galaxy Palette. Voice over Deja, activate. So we are taking a black shadow. This is the Novena Galaxy Palette, and we're creating the shape that I want. I basically want the outside edge to be very crisp and sharp. And then I'm going to take a maroon shadow and then blend the inside. Then after this, I will take that black shadow again and create the outside edge. I'm basically kind of creating like a fish shape-ish. Um, and then, like I said, all the blending will be on the inside with that maroon shadow. Blend to your content. If you want it to be crisp and sharp, you do it, mama. You do whatever you want. Makeup wipes off, honey. Have fun. After this, because I have a hooded lid, I'm going to cover my lid with that maroon shadow. And then I'm taking a neutral color and then setting the inside only. So that is basically it for the base of the eye. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I will be right back to do the base. Now we are moving on to the face, baby. So I started off with my Milani Cream to Powder, which has no coverage. So if you're a real woman, take it. Take it. Take it and run. However, I went with my Good Faithful, which is Juvia's Place. Um, I'm not sure what color I am. I think I'm Rio or Mombasa. But I just love the coverage. And this is the color that I usually like. Because once I set everything down, it neutralizes into my skin tone. It's actually really weird. I don't know what powder does. It's like cement. Um, but after I do this, which I take it all over my head, I want it to be the same color. I will go in with my Good Faithful, which is Cryolon TV Paint Stick. And in the middle, I use a new concealer, which is from Wet n Wild. It's the Incognito Concealer. Now, this does not really hold up to sweat, 
but it is beautiful. Um, so if you sweat, don't use it. Then I used a Revolution Cosmetics uh, Dark Concealer for my neck contour, and I just concentrated that in the middle and blend it out. And then I will set my neck along with my entire head with Cody Airspun in the shade Tan, or I think Dark Tan. But yes, I'm basically going to set my entire head with this. I don't want it to move at all. Then after that, I will go in and blend out my concealer. I always start out with the brightest points because I don't want it to get muddy. Um, and then I will move out. The texture of this is gorgeous. It really is flawless. But I used this at brunch. And I could tell that it was peeking through whenever I started to sweat. Then after that, I will take my Anastasia translucent powder and set all the high points. And then the rest of it, I will set with, again, the Cody Airspun. Just look at the finish. The finish is gorgeous. So now we are going to finish this eye. I basically want to close off the end to make it really dark and deep. Very Gaga, Born This Way era. And we're basically going to follow the entire bottom section and just black it out. Then we're going to take a little bit of the maroon and blend out the bottom corners just ever so slightly. Now, if you want it to be severe, which I kind of wish I would have done, and just keep it completely black that is totally fine but if you want to blend if you want to add a different color you totally can makeup is fun you guys you can do whatever you want and i also really hope that you guys try to recreate this because this was honestly a fun tutorial just wait till we add the special effects honey now towards the top i actually saw that once i started to set my makeup I actually wanted to blend a little bit more. So I took a little bit of the maroon and black mixed together and just swept it across the inner corner. Then I took that maroon shadow and really, really, really intensified my lid. If you do not have hooded eyes, you don't have to worry about this. Mama, now we are moving on to my all-time favorite part of any makeup, which is blush. Now this Juvia's Place blush, number four, get the number four. It is the hottest pink alive it is my favorite blush at the moment it's just so pigmented and so gorgeous and then i took the mama mitchell i believe this is like a baby pink blush just blend out the edges a little bit and then of course i took a bigger fluffier brush to really blend out the edges i didn't want that really harsh line from blush to highlight okay so now is the fun part of the eye it's basically done it's kind of like haphazard but still effective basically what i wanted to do was um i wanted to use like flakes believe this is for your nails or something that's not supposed to be in your eye but I'm a drag queen sue me but I basically wanted to kind of create like a graphic out kind of thing and I thought this really cute fuchsia I actually have four I think I'm gonna mix maybe the dark purple and the fuchsia probably um, but let's see how this works if this is terrible you're here to see that it's terrible it's so pretty. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. So I'm gonna use this peel off base coat for my friend. Um, that is the designer at Designer Dust Co on Instagram. They basically make all of my like loose paste glitters. They're just amazing. And I do have a code with them if you wanna use it. That's Designer Dust Co at Instagram. And it's just code Deja if you want 10% off your order. Oh God, I'm already sticky. <laughs> I'm taking a fluffy, but I kind of want it to be like stringy because I don't want it to just be a solid chrome kind of moment. Dipping it in the paste and then just kind of like haphazardly dabbing it on the actual and then picking some of the flakes up and then just apply. Yes! It looks super cool! Looks very graphic and chromey. Just making sure everything is flat. Oh my god! Okay, so I'm gonna finesse it and do the other one off camera and then we're gonna be back for final touches. Okay, I put some contacts in and then obviously I added some more flakes on my chin and my forehead. These are hands down my new favorite lashes. I get all the compliments on it. And like, I used to use paper lashes back in the day, but I just, they just never held up. And these lashes hold up, honey. 
Oh my god. Oh, so stunning. Like, oh. Uh. Okay, so let's do a lip. What lip do you think we're gonna do? A black lip. We're gonna do a black lip, and then I think I'm gonna add some of the flakes on top. So let's just do a signature black lip. Oh, so cool. All right, well, you guys, I did it. I love it. I look like an alien superstar. Oh, without even knowing, I look like I belong in Chromatica. <laughs> without even, it's, hey, I'm Deja. I'm Deja Matica. <laughs> well, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this Deja tutorial. I think it's cool. I think it's very graphic. Um, obviously, if you are a real Womana, you can obviously simplify this and make it smaller, but it looks really cool. I'm very proud of this look. I think it looks really fucking awesome. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please follow me on all my social media. And without further ado, I'll see you guys for my next video. Bye. Toodles. Chromatica.